Having a stale, boring chord progression is a surefire way to make sure no one listens to your song. So today, I'm gonna show y'all three simple steps to add some excitement to your chord progressions. One of the absolute easiest things you can do to spice up your chord progressions is to spread out the notes in your chords with simple inversions. Take this super boring example here. Incredibly stale and uninspiring. But what if we take the third of all these chords and shift them up an octave? We are now one step closer to writing a hit song for Adele. I always like doing this trick because most of the time it instantly creates other melodic ideas in my head. But before we move on to that, I like to work on the rhythm of my chord progressions a bit more. Since a lot of producers typically click in their chords and melodies, it's very easy to overlook rhythm and have a very static sounding chord progression, which is exactly what we have here. There are many ways to add rhythmic excitement to your chord progression, but for this progression, I think I'm going to just take the first three chords and play them with a dotted rhythm. I think this works really well for what we have here. It not only gives us a more interesting rhythm, it also helps to build up some tension since the last chord has more time to sustain out before resolving back to the beginning of our progression. Now that we have some nice voicings that we like and added some interesting rhythm to our progression, it's time for our final step, and in my opinion, the most important step, adding melodic phrases onto our chord progression. Nothing can spice up a chord progression more than small melodic phrases to really help glue the progression together and to help add an extra layer to your song. One of the easiest tricks you can do to add melody to your chord progression is to insert passing notes between your chords to try and create smoother transitions. Passing notes are basically just notes to help us connect two notes together in a melodic line. So instead of moving from a C to an E, you can insert a D in between the two to help connect the notes together. As you can see with the progression we have here, our first three chords already follow this idea as the top note on each chord is just walking down the scale. But from our third chord to our fourth, we go all the way from C sharp to G sharp. Now I do want to make it clear that this is not a bad thing. You don't need to follow this idea with every single one of your chord progressions. But a nice way to add some excitement to your progressions is to bridge the gap between these chords with some kind of melodic phrase or passing tones. Since these two notes are quite a bit far apart from each other, I think it would be best to walk up to the G sharp with something like this. You can also walk down to it following the passing notes we spoke about earlier. Now realistically, we can call it here and start splitting this progression into other layers to create the melodic foundation for our track. But you can also experiment with adding in even more melodic decoration to your chord progressions. Here's another example where I lay down a melody with a quarter note rhythm to bounce off of the original dotted rhythm we had to get this interesting bouncing effect from our top melody. You can really experiment on this step to your liking and decide whether you want things to be more simple or more complicated. The more you experiment with doing things like this, the better you will get at them over time. You'll start to see patterns that you like, rhythms that complement your progressions well, inversions that you like. So I really suggest for you to follow these steps and to see what works for you. These are the three steps I take when I'm writing my chord progressions and a couple of examples on how I go about writing my melodic phrases. It's a topic I get asked about a lot, so I hope these steps work for you guys. I will have a download link to the MIDI files created for this song, separating each of the steps taken in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see y'all in the next one.